Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can create a really neat halftone looking effect using just some of the default brushes that you have within Photoshop. So in this particular image here, I've actually put my colors in for this rendition of Iron Fist. And the way this technique is going to work is I'm going to use my brush tool. I'm going to navigate to where I can see my hard round brush. Make sure that that's selected. Then once you have that brush selected, then go up to the brush options. It's a small folder that looks, uh, that has a brush icon inside of it. And then this is where you can control many of the properties of your brush. We've looked at this before in some of the how to make your brush videos that I've already created. But what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take the spacing and we're just gonna move it over to the right. And what we're doing is we're just taking that one continuous line and we're turning it into a series of dots. Now I can control the size of the dots uh, and I'll move it into where it's about roughly 38, 40 pixels. And let's give this a go. So I'll make sure that I'm on a brand new layer and I'm gonna use this halftone effect to indicate some uh, you know, shading on the right hand side for Iron Fist here. So I'll first of all, use my magic wand tool. I'll make sure that the selection area is only on his uh, do rag. I'll pick a darker yellow. I'll come back in with that brush and I'll adjust the size by using the right bracket key. So I've got this nice little stippling effect that's going down here. Now this is not quite a stippling effect because stippling is just putting one dot at a time, but I think this effect looks pretty neat. And if it's a little bit too pronounced, you can always drop its opacity to give your work a little bit more of a textured look. Uh, let's continue that here. So we'll just add some half tones for those areas that have some hatching already. And I'll even add some skin tones underneath. So I'll sample that skin tone color back in and I've got these really neat dots. Now if you look at traditional halftones, halftones have dots that basically are offset. So if I were to draw say our new layer here, the second row would actually be a little bit offset to get a true halftone. So this is kind of mimicking that effect. It's not precisely a halftone effect, but it gets you about 80% of the way there. And what's also neat about this technique is I can pick a brush that has some pressure sensitivity, like this hard round pressure size brush. And if I do the same thing, so this is like a normal continuous brush, but if I go into my brush options and adjust the spacing, you should see that the dots here start to get spaced apart. If I make that brush a little bit bigger, now I have some pressure sensitivity associated with my dots. In other words, the more I press down, the bigger the dots. The less I press down, the smaller the dots. And that might be something to consider as you're working. So for example, if I wanted to add some shading around his fingers, let's just make sure that I'm on that right layer. So this gives that half tone type of look. And it's just another thing that you can experiment with and see if it's your cup of tea or not. You don't want to go too overboard with this. You want to just use it within reason. But again, that's really up to you to decide. So I hope you found this video to be useful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up so more artists can find it. As always, thanks for watching the videos, and I'll see you in the next one.